love stage, the final episode, it is over. And you know, I gotta say this, man, I gotta say this. I'm gonna miss the series. I'm really gonna miss the series. And you know, even though it was a Yao, you know, no, honestly, man, I've seen another Yao before. It was about, you know, two guys fighting over each other. You know, they end up kissing by accident. But there's always this girl that's in a way, you know. After that, I didn't even bother watching she put in. But, you know, honestly, man, this is one of the first Yao's I've ever seen. And, you know, it, it changed my mind. It really changed my mind. You know, I don't like the scenes of the Yao, actually. You know, you know that. But the story was freaking adorable. It really was. And, you know, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss this series. And, you know, it's sad seeing it go. But with this episode, we finally see that, you know, Rizumi finally realizes he loves Ryoma fully. And, you know, long story short, um, the funny thing is, before I get to the actual, you know, review, Izumi, I think he has the power to turn people gay. I <laughs> he did that, like, instantly, because, you know, when we last left off, you know, last week he was about to get, you know. And then he ended up making them become gay. <laughs> he just looked at him, and he was all vulnerable, like, laying down, you know, he's even crying, he's like, let me go. And then it's like, huh, you know, I'll try anything once, it's good, it's good, and everyone agrees. I'm like, whoa, what the, f no! And uh, at least Izumi, you know, he showed some, you know, masculinity with him when he started, you know, fighting back. About time, about time, Izumi. He hit him with a bag, he hit his nut, which, oh, I, mean, I felt the pain on that. He ran off, and then he ended up meeting his friend, you know, with the glasses. He talks to him, he kind of comforts him a little bit. The whole point of him actually meeting up with him was to tell Izumi that what Ryomo did, you know, to get the autograph, what's the length he would go to, to, you know, impress Izumi and to make him feel good. And then this is this is exactly when Azumi realizes, I love this guy. I love him. I need him in my life. I don't want nobody to have him. He runs off into the sunset, goes to Azumi's house. And like any other romance, what does Azumi say? Let's do it here and now, hardcore style. Yeah, I came out of nowhere. It really did, man. I was like, what? What about the typical I love you? I want to be with you. But no, man, Azumi. That's how you know he's a guy now. He just commands Ryoma, let's do it. That's some mad stuff right there, man. Good job, Azumi. You're finally showing some manliness in you. you know, after weeks and weeks of you of calling you a girl, you know, I've said this before in my episode 1 review. If it looks like a girl, talks like a girl, and acts like a girl, it's a girl. So, you know, finally seeing Azumi, you know, showing some more of his manly side. He commands it. Uh, <laughs> and then after this whole, you know, shenanigans happens, you know, I thank God they did not show like the whole thing. They only showed like, little clips of it, and it's funny too because while they were doing it, they were actually showing us scenes of furniture. It's like, oh, that's cool. I like that couch. That's a nice rug. It looks nice. After they're finished, after they're done, going to pound tent with each other. Um, it actually hurts. We find out that it hurts a lot, like a very, very, very much a lot. Umi's in pain, and then he finally realizes, oh, I didn't say I love you. They say I love you. Touching moment. Really, really touching moment. They hug each other, and that's where our episode. Our journey ends here, guys. It really does. And then with the ending, you know, after the credits, we find out that Izumi is doing pretty well for himself. You know, he's in the show business. He does commercials now. And then we see that Ryoma and Izumi are still together. And Izumi says something nice. He says, as long as Ryoma's there, I'll be able to do anything. Hopefully the door that he opened will also open the door for me to become what I want to be. And that's the manga artist. Oh, beautiful ending. Really, really beautiful ending. So, you know, they ended really well. So, a chance for season two is not certain they did not leave any cliffhanger they did not leave any plot holes so everything right here is completed and honestly man i would not mind the season two i would actually go and watch it and review it you know for now man we gotta stick with this season one hopefully there's a season two i heard the manga still going it's ongoing actually so you know there might be a chance for a season two hopefully you know i did enjoy this series i did the music was good you know it was okay <laughs> it wasn't the best soundtrack ever i did like the ending though. the ending was my favorite the characters were just lovable. All of them were likable. All of them. Seriously, from Sojo, Ray, Ray, man, he's still the boss, man. I like Ray. Ryoma and Azumi. Even the parents, man. Even they had a little screen time in this last episode, realizing they love Azumi no matter what he is, who he is, blah blah blah. Not the best romance of all time, but it was a very enjoyable, entertaining, and it, I I would say it's a good watch. And I would recommend it unless you don't like the Yao, you know, except for that part. But honestly, I didn't like the Yao either, but. Overall, it was a really enjoyable and entertaining ride. It really was, guys. So, with that said, guys, tell me what did you guys think of the series? What did you guys think about characters? What was your favorite moment for the series? 
and this episode. Leave me thoughts down below. One last time, guys. This is the last time I'm reviewing this until maybe there's a season two. So it was a fun journey with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, guys, take care, guys. Be safe. Have an awesome day. See you guys next time, maybe. Follow Matic. Bye.